Uh, look at that lighting. And as soon as I'm ready to record, here comes the rain doors. Alright, thankfully we have a little bit of blue skies now. Okay, so it's been a little while. But gonna based on the title of the video, I guess you already know what the video is about. I'm gonna show you how to create your own presets. What's it what's it called again? Hold on. Alright, right, that's good. Give a man a fish and you feed him for a day, but teach a man to fish and you feed him for feed him for a lifetime. Right. So basically we're gonna teach you how to fish today. So I'm gonna show you how to create your own um in Lightroom. Now a preset is basically a way in Lightroom to have a consistent look across your images in a real fast way so if you know exactly how you shot this image and you, you can save your looks or you can save your presets or your Instagram filters don't want to call it that but you know just for easy reference you can save them in, 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 a, in a folder in Lightroom and you can just click and drag and figure out which ones you want and just paste them on basically so I'm going to show you how to create your own so that um, for your own efficiency and your own workflow you can have presets of your own okay Let's go on the computer. Okay, so first things first, we're going to open up Lightroom, right? And we're going to go to our uh, develop section. Now, I'm just going to select this one little folder here I have. These images were shot in Blanche's shares on one of the vlogs. But yeah, these are some of the images we shot on that vlog. You can see here that I have a bunch of presets on the left-hand side here that I've created. Now, there are some other user presets that I downloaded from other people. Uh, free presets and the ones that come with Lightroom. So Lightroom also has some basic black and white and color filters that you can use. But if you want to get a little more fancy, you can create your own presets. So now I'm going to show you how to create your own presets like this. So let's say you have your first image that you want to edit. Okay, let's get a blank image. So let's look at a drone image. You guys love drone images. So let's look at this lovely drone image on the back here. As you can see, this image is already edited. I'll show you what it looked like before. This was the before image, and then I edited to look like this. So this is what it looks like now. Um, you can you can see that the let's show this side by side. So you can see that the blues I boosted the blues a little bit. I made them a little bit deeper, a little bit more on the teal side, and I made the sand a little more orange. And I took away from like that, you know, it was looking a little bit white. But I like to see like it almost looks like a sunset happening on the beach and I made the trees a little bit more yellowy green color you know usual editing stuff and but if you want to make this into a preset like if you just want to say you know what I love how this looks and I want to have this for all of my drone images going forward then what you can do is you go up to develop and then you create new preset and then when this image this uh, little window comes up you can name the preset you can also drop it into one of the preset folders that you already have. So if I click this, it'll go to my preset folder that I already created. And you can name this preset, uh, let's say drone. Now, in this this window, you would decide which ones of the settings that you apply to it that you want to save to the preset. Usually I don't select the exposure one because uh, it depends on the exposure I shot the image at. It might be overexposed, it might be underexposed. So I would keep this deselected. And you should, sometimes I take the white balance off because those little changes, those little changes happen from image to image. But the stuff I like in the contrast or the highlight shadows, you know, the white clipping, the black clipping, um, you know, the saturation, the vibrance. If I added grain, if I didn't add any grain, if I took on all of these little things here are the ones that I keep on. Now, when you're done with that, you click create. Boom, and it will go right over here to your folder. If you want to create a folder, you just right click on, let's say, you right click on any one of the basic ones that Lightroom gave you, and you'll see new folder, and you'll say uh, YouTube folder, create. It's an alphabetical order, so you'll see YouTube folder right here, and if you want to delete that, just delete that folder. Thankfully, I didn't delete my presets because I thought that's what I clicked on just now. If you want, you can preview it. Open your preview window over here. You can see like every one I hover over gives me a different look. And you can just drop these. This, if you have that now saved, you can just drop that on anything. And you can just use it for, let's say, another drone image. So I have, let's say, this one right here. Um, this one I posted on Instagram already. It's already cropped for Instagram. Oh, pro tip, if you want to crop something for Instagram before you post on Instagram and you don't have to worry about it, you know, having to crop afterwards, do come here, go to crop, go to this, and click this one, 4x5, 8x10. And it's going to give you the aspect ratio for Instagram. And you can just crop where you want it. So you don't have to worry about having to crop after the fact in Instagram. That's just a side tip, by the way. Right, so let's flip that. And then I can just apply a preset. 
anyone anyone i want i can apply the drone one so this is why i left the um white balance off so i can now adjust the white balance myself here and bring it back up a little bit and the exposure i left the exposure off so i can bring it up brighter or darker if, however i wanted it because the preset if i had exposure and white balance dropped onto it let's say the preset was a preset that had um a bunch of like a high temperature and like a low exposure it would come out like this and then you have to go fix that after the fact so i try to keep these out of the mix keep the temp the tint and the exposure out of the mix so that i don't have to go worry about it after i'm applying the preset so i can just kind of like skim through presets and see how they would look on any image that i have all right so that's how you create a preset um so it's after you edit the image the way you want it you go up to develop and you hit new preset and then you select the ones that you want to keep for this preset and then you name it add it to your folder and then boop, you have a you have a whole preset and that's it it's creating a preset is super easy super fast uh, make sure that I'll organize them in one little folder so that you can have them by name and know exactly which ones are which the presets that you saw in my Lightroom those are presets that I actually created and sometime I have to finalize them how I want exactly want them to look and I will be releasing them on my website right here at some point in time um, for you to be able to purchase. They'll be like $5.99 or $3.99 or something like that. But they'll also be free ones so you can download and try them out yourself. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something useful or you learned something today. And if you did, give that video a like. Give this video a like, not that video, this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I do intend to post more tutorial stuff in the future. And I will be going back to vlogging a little bit. If you want to see what I've been up to in the last couple of weeks, check out this video right here. Devon and I did a video. This episode of this podcast was filmed right here. I will be also starting my own podcast soon. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments what sort of content you want to see. I already have an idea what the content I want to do on my podcast. But if you want to see something in particular, let me know. And that's it. I'll see you guys sometime soon because I do have some fun projects coming up that I will need to vlog for. So... I'm happy and I'm happy that you're happy that content is coming back out soon. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys soon.